Hey everybody, it's time to dust off that slow cooker. Yes. Right? I love my she slow cooker. She loves her slow cooker. We're combining a summertime favorite recipe with a comfort food staple. Ashley Blom is from quarterlifecrisiscuisine.com and she's here to show us how to make slow cooker country style ribs with roasted cauliflower florets and we got some slaw. slaw. <laughs> oh my gosh. Lots of tackle. Growling. Well, let's get right All to right, it. Ashley. Okay, so this is actually one of my favorite meals that my mom used to make me growing up. Um, and I didn't realize actually how simple it was until I was older. Um, so basically. It's true. How you're like, I, I know, right? Food like, mom, then... how did you do this? <laughs> oh, I'm just a yeah, master chef. You know, um, it's a two cent process. <laughs> right. So anyway, it's wicked simple. Um, I love putting it together because it cooks all day while you're at work. You come home and dinner's already made. So, can I, can I interrupt for a second? Some people that I know are terrified of leaving the slow cooker on <laughs> when they're at work. It's safe, right? Right, just don't leave any flammable things near it. Some people you know, is it you? Uh, no, so if my wife is watching, yes, we can keep our slow cooker on all day long. That's what it's for. Exactly. Right. Set it and forget it. Exactly. <laughs> Thank you. Um, so it's really simple. This is just one onion chopped up. Um, it's optional, but I like the extra little punch of flavor it gives. Yes. So you just pour that into the slow cooker. You and might get a little emotional cutting them though, right? I know, <laughs> it, they make me a little bit sad. Um, so then take your favorite barbecue sauce. Um, this particular barbecue sauce was the one my mom always used and they changed their bottle. So I thought they discontinued it and I was really sad. And then my boyfriend actually remembered, um, I told him the color scheme, he remembered it was open pit. So. Um, we found it and I was really excited. So if you want to make it like Ashley's mom makes it, <laughs> you have to get that kind you of You have to get the specific barbecue okay. sauce. So you pour a little bit in there. So you just kind of eyeball it, right? There's no yeah. measurement really, just kind of coat the bottom. Um, it's good to have at least two just in case, but you're going <laughs> to use three. Maybe, maybe three. Maybe three. Pop this on the side, drink it, you know, whatever. <laughs> um, then you just plop them in there. And these are country style ribs. These are country style ribs. You can get them with the bone or without the bone. Okay. These ones have a bone. I wonder if you could use any kind, because there's St. Louis, there's baby back, and these country style. Can you do bone in ribs in one of these? Yeah, these actually these have bones. Bone oh, they have bone in? Yeah. Oh, well then. <laughs> so. I guess you can. Look at that, Seth. I learned something and today. And with every layer, I like to do just a little bit more barbecue sauce oh, so that it, of course. it's nice and covered. And it's all going to cook through, even the ones that are on top. Right. That's what always fascinates me about the way slow cookers slow cooker. work is they use the liquid and they kind of slowly poach it over the course of the day. So then oh, you and the then you on. and then you come home and you don't even have to light a candle because your house smells so good already. This is actually my mom's crock pot and I think the only the only reason she came here with me today is to make sure that this comes home. Uh, <laughs> um, darn it. Yeah. Lisa, I was going to so. steal it. <laughs> Now, this, um, and that's it. There's a few settings on a, a slow cooker usually. Right. Depending on which one you get, there's hour settings and there's low and high. So which one is this right. on? This is on low and mm -hmm. you want to keep it on for about six to eight hours. Um, and yeah, this is one of the like 70s or 80s versions. So it just has low and high. Um, but yeah, if you have one with a timer, that's great. Set it for six hours so that it doesn't, if you're worried about catching the house on fire. <laughs> which some people are. <laughs> this good. still works the same as it did right yeah. when you were a kid. Isn't exactly. that amazing? They make things differently now, don't they? And awesome. the other thing is if the timer goes out, it turns to like a, a warm, safe mode. Right, so, so that it keeps it warm. So your house, so will, your house will not burn down. <laughs> okay, so now we're going to set it and forget it. Set it and forget it and then come over here. And we'll remember it later. Um, so we have the slaw and we have the cauliflower. Let's start with the cauliflower because it's okay. a little bit easier. Um, so basically, this is just defrosted frozen cauliflower. Oh, you can use my fresh life. if you want to. Um, microwave it for a little bit just to get it a little bit tender. And then if you want to pass me the second bottle there. This one? Yep, that one. It's should Garlic be. Garlic oil? Well, it's supposed to be olive oil. Oh, okay, <laughs> never mind. This is olive oil. It's not garlic oil. <laughs> just um, so what you the just pour says. a little bit of. Seth won't complain. He loves no. garlic. I know, yeah. Um, pour a little bit of olive oil just to coat it. Okay, what do you have next? And then next, the salt and pepper and the crushed red pepper. Oh. Himalayan sea salt. Yeah, this is this was one of my this. little splurges. It's really trendy and hip. It's so hip these days. And it's Actually, pink. speaking of yeah. hip, I think we're on the we're on the cutting edge right now. I was I was listening to a to a, to a podcast the other day. You know, kale used to be the hip one. Mm -hmm. Now it's cauliflower. Really? Kale yep. is so 2013. Cauliflower is where it's at now. Well, we're still in 2013. No, I know, but it's like fashion trends are oh, a year ahead. Oh, he's already right, in 2014. Right. Exactly. He's ahead of us. Yeah, um, we're trendsetters here on Mass Appeal. <laughs> Ashley Blom is a trendsetter. It's true. Okay, so you put some red pepper flakes yep, in there. Yep, red pepper, roasted rib, or red pepper flakes, yep. salt and pepper, and then a little bit of olive oil and stir it up. 
And um, sometimes I use gar garlic powder when I've actually remembered uh -huh. to bring my olive oil and not my <laughs> garlic oil. But we just skipped a step because we used the garlic oil. Sounds oh, good to me. I want to get some garlic oil. And then so good. just put it in a single layer on a cookie sheet. And then you pop it in the oven at 400. How do you know when it's done? When it's done? Well, about halfway through, you want to flip them. And then when they have little toasty pieces on either side, that's when it's done. It's nice and roasted. Oh, I nice. love those. You want me to pop it in the oven? Sure, pop it in the oven. Thank you. <laughs> he loves to help out. Okay, then the next part of the meal is the zesty slaw. It's the zesty slaw. So okay. if you want to start chopping this up, um, you just want to slice it into thin little strips. Okay. If you have a mandolin or a cabbage shredder, it makes it a lot easier. Um, I like to do things easy, and I have a knife. So a little more work, but <laughs> you don't need the fancy equipment. No, um, save yourself some cash if there. I could just scoop right, it in yeah, trade places. Okay, so the dressing for the slaw, I like to make that first so that you can um, kind of control how much is going in. But I see no mayonnaise out here. No mayonnaise. You're ah. It's a little bit healthier for you, a little, saving a little bit of calories. Yeah. You're going to do about two tablespoons of mustard. And again, I'm just eyeballing it because I know what I like. Hopefully it's what you guys like too. Oh, I, I think so. <laughs> well, that's the... the thing. Everybody at home, if they don't necessarily like some of these ingredients, they can swap. Or if you really like exactly. mm, mustard, put extra in there. Right. right. If you want it to be zestier. Now, what's, what's this that you just poured in there? That is maple syrup. Really? Maple syrup yeah. and mustard. A little bit of maple syrup gives a little bit of sweetness. Ooh. And then some olive oil. <laughs> Some more olive oil. <laughs> or Lovely. olive oil, whatever olive you want to put in there. Olive oil. Mix it all up. Actually, sorry to interrupt you, but do you want me to cut them the other way too so they're small pieces or is this oh, right? Yeah, that's probably, that's good. Leave so, it, okay. You know, you know what coleslaw texture is, like right. nice long strips. Okay. Um, and then a little bit of sherry vinegar. And if you don't have this, regular red wine vinegar works. Um, apple cider vinegar works. Ooh. You can really, like once you get comfortable making this, Mm -hmm. Just improvise and do it the way your taste. Right, and taste it, but don't put too much. Then you can right. take it out, right? That's so, true. All right, Ashley, we're, we're just about out of time, but okay. we will be back with you in a little bit Excellent. to finish up this me this recipe. I was going to say meal, meal and recipe, three. but I said recipe. If it's my kitchen, it's a recipe. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to make up a new word. It's a recipe. <laughs> Thanks, hey. Ashley. Welcome back to Masfield. We're back with Ashley Blom. She's from QuarterLifeCrisis.com. We're finishing off our three dishes, so let's take it down the line. We have first our crock pot slow cooker food. How'd you make it? Basically, you just put slow the cooker onions, food. Slow cooker food. <laughs> the onions, the barbecue sauce, and the ribs in the slow cooker. Put it on low for six hours, eight hours. Um, if you check it at six, it needs a little more time. And um, then finally, you just take a little bit of extra barbecue yeah. sauce and dab it on the top, and. They're good to go. And don't be wow. scared. You can keep this on while you're not home. But you're yes. not supposed to peek, right? Isn't that the rule? No peeking, right. no After opening six the cover? Hours, you can peek. And if they're not totally done, leave it on for another hour or two. I get you. Um, no peeking. Okay, now we have a coleslaw here that looks mighty tasty. How'd yep. you make this? Just cabbage, um, red cabbage and green cabbage, broccoli slaw, and the mixture of. Um, all of the things I showed you earlier. Oh, a lot and of different no things. It'll be there's on our no website. Mayonnaise in it. It's nice and zesty, and sometimes around this time of year, I like to slice up some apples really thin and toss that in there too for a nice little sweet crunch. It's awesome. It's a great so idea. Good. And lastly, the cauliflower. And finally, we got the roasted cauliflower, which is tossed with olive oil. Um, I wanted to be very sure that you weren't confusing my olive oil with garlic oil because you don't want to put on the flavored oil before you cook it because it'll change the flavor. Oh. So what I do after, I have some um, jalapeno oil. And I just drizzle that over the top <gasps> too, and it gets them nice and spicy. Well, Ashley, this looks so good, and you must thank your mom for this great recipe. So many yeah. good memories, right? Well, thank She's you, Ashley.